Welcome back to Beards, Bourbon, and Games. We're continuing our Retro Survival Horror Month with Resident Evil. I'm your co-host, Mike, and with me is Conqueror Corey. All right, let's do this. We are in the lab. It is time to kill everything. Figure out what's going on, who betrayed who. We know, because we've played this game a million times, but you may not know. We, we got a cure for the T-Virus. It's in the form of the shotgun. To the face! <laughs> well, that music changed quick. Naked zombies. Gross. Whoa, what the? Holy crap. Uh, he was a little bit beefy. Yeah, we definitely got to wait to get closer, I guess. What is that? Found the door. Ooh. Uh, yes. Okay, that moves. Researcher's letter. June 8th, 1998. Dear Ada. Oh, great. Ada, by, by the time you read this, I'll be something different. The day's test turned out to be positive. Just as I expected, I feel, I feel like going crazy when I think about becoming one of them. Ada, you're, you're not infected, and I hope you never will be. In case you're the last one left, take the material in the visual data room and go to the power room uh, to operate triggering the system before you escape and make all this public through the media. If everything is in order, all the the looks can be oh, locks, lock, looks. <laughs> all the locks can be opened by the security system. You can access the system if you log in with my name in the terminal in the small lab and enter the password. The password is your name. To unlock the door at B2 where the visual data room is located, you'll need to access with our names first and then enter the uh, another password. I've written uh, I've written the code below. I'm sure you'll understand it. And this is my last hope. Uh, if you find my find me completely changed, please kill me yourself. Okay, M. So another password's Ada. Yeah, it's also this is also another password though, and John is the username. This is the guy he, she was looking for in the second game. She kept talking mm -hmm. about John Ada. Dot dot dot. Oh, is that what I think it is? Tree Apple Man? And I turn off the red lock. Turn off the original switch that you turned on. the other password um let's pull that back up researchers oh 
Okay. It's this weird fish. Okay. I memorized it. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, look, look back at it first. For, wait, 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 wait. Before you do that, I need to look at the picture. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, take a picture of that. Oh, I know. What... Okay, hang on, let me take it. All right, I got a picture of it. Now, go ahead and turn on the little up. I probably should have memorized that. But we can look at it in a minute. Open up the... Wait a minute. I need to open up my notepad. Fish. Okay. Or, yeah. I, I reckon that and the fish. You remember the other two. I'll remember the two. The M and the fish. And then we got the hook and the regular M. So I got the okay. Okay. So... Password is M O. What was the hook? L E Mole. Ah, uh, Mole is the password because there's a mole. Security room, Chris is being held, I think. Okay, let's go look for a computer. Is it in that researcher room there? The one we just left? Mm -hmm. no, I didn't, didn't have a computer. No, we haven't gone down, down that hall yet. Never mind. It's like, make up your mind, Corey. I heard you like backtracking, Corey. I do. I love it. It makes the game. What does that sound? Oh, okay. Oh, gosh, there's one behind me. Ah! Also, what it is, too, he's a good ways away from me. So, yeah. shotgun wasn't doing a whole lot of damage. Okay, there's the computer.
wonder who's behind this. John. Ada. That's not a very strong password, by the way. Right? when you walk away, Jill. <laughs> it's very important. Nothing special. I'm special. Cap their back. so long because I've played this version of the game and gotten this far. I just, I don't remember. Like at all. Oh, we got slides there. We put it in that projector. Incorporated bioweapon materials. MA39 Cerebus. FI3. Oh, Neptune was in this game. Oh. That was that giant truck, I guess. Hunter. T002 Tyrant. Who is 001? You fight it in Resident Evil Zero. It's the unstable tyrant. Oh, yeah. <gasps> oh, look who's over to the right. It's Wesker. The man in the shades. This music's unsettling. Very. Oh. Basement level one, helicopter pad. Executives and government officials only on helicopter port. This restriction may not apply in case of an accident. Pass to helicopter. Uh, passage to the heli heliport. Blah, 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 blah. No one is allowed to enter unless they're they are attended by a research consultant or security director. All others will be shot on sight. Good to know. Elevator stops during emergencies. Visual data room. 
Which data room is within the control of the Special Research Division? Keith, Arving, and the room manager. <laughs> is designated to have judiciary adjudication over room usage. Uh, base level three, prison. Sanctuary division controls are used for the prison consultant researchers E. Smith, S. Ross, A. Wesker. Must be present if virus is in use. Triple lock doors. No one's allowed to enter unless all unless he is present with all passcode documents. Press passcode documents must be created on specialized output machines by the chief researcher in each block. Power room. Only head supervisor may enter. This restriction may not apply if the consultant researcher has received special instructions. Passcode output machine. No one is allowed to use this passcode output machine by the chief researchers. Wow. Top secret. Regarding the progress of tyrant after use with the T-virus remain Document is upgradable. Hmm. So that was weird. What is going on? Oh, goody. Okay, the lab key is the last lab's the last place we need to go because I think when you go into where we the three trigger the same tire. Well, maybe maybe we do need to go there, but I thought we. No, we don't release Chris until the last little bit, do we? That's the thing I don't remember. That's the problem. I don't even. I don't know where we're supposed to use the discs. There's readers around. Maybe I should go grab a disc. That's not good. <laughs> That's not good at all. We might have to get the handgun out. Yeah, we're doing okay right now, though. It's uh. Should I go get a mo disc? Yeah, get a mo disc. Get a mo. Can they stack? We can. Is my question. You'd think they could, since they're, they got the same item ID or item ID. Let's try. Use three of these. We just don't know where they go. Time for some exploring. No, I don't remember either. Let's go in there. Oh, okay, we're good. Ooh, look what's on the bed. Oh, I don't think I'd ever be so happy. Wait a minute, 
what's up with this puzzle? I stepped on it. Okay, I know, I know what we gotta do. Okay. Um, so, yeah, get on that side and push that crate over, over top of that box. Progress. Let's do it. Uh oh. Ooh, some on the shelf. Okay. Oh, that's the door that's locked from the inside. Chris was passcode zero two. Okay. I will surely bless you and make your descendants numerous as the so oh, ooh, Genesis from the Old Testament. Um as uh, as star in the sky, as sand on the seashore, your descendants shall take possession of cities of their enemies. Twenty two seventeen. Okay, that's what we're looking for. Those. I haven't seen the other ones laying around of you. No, but they're around, so we need to look. <laughs> Probably 
probably should have gone back and got an MO disc. Get an MO disc. Get MO. We need MO disc. Watch this be a save room. <laughs> it is! <laughs> nice. The blue herb. And flame rounds. And a green herb. I will take all of these things. There's a red herb in that room we were just in. How many herbs would you like? Yes. Uh, so this not a number. What? Sorry. the story of Abraham, don't they?
does that even mean? I have no idea. Run. Check our health and get a new item, or get, a, get a, another health item. Uh, we're we're, we're, we're kind of fine. Okay, those little things suck. Yeah. Let's just be glad that I don't think the nitro glycerin puzzle is the end of this version. <laughs> You know what? Uh, I'm about to say let's put up the shotgun and just pack the grenade launcher you now and the magnum. Really? I'm afraid we're gonna run out of ammo for a uh, big bad guy. Ah, uh, nah. Magnum being enough to put him down. And we got we got we got enough uh, we got enough grenade rounds to finish the game because at the final boss they're gonna drop that rocket launcher anyway. I mean, just be safe. Let's let's do an official save. And it's all the encryption we have left. Okay, there we go. Shotgun. Put it all handy. You did a fine job, Barry. Just as I thought. Oh. I think you should stay away from Barry, Jill. I hear that his wife and two daughters will be in danger if he doesn't do everything I tell him to. 
You are so cruel. Well, you don't have to worry about anything, because you'll be free from this world very soon, Jill. Why do you have to destroy stars? That's Umbrella's intention. This laboratory has been engaging in dangerous experiments, and recently an accident has occurred. Anyway, this disaster cannot be made public. <laughs> anyway. That's why having stars nosing about is so inconvenient. So you're a slave of Umbrella now, along with these virus monsters. I think you misunderstand me, Jill. To me, the monsters you mentioned mean nothing. I'm going to burn all of them together with this entire laboratory. I must complete my mission as ordered by Umbrella. Barry, go up on the ground and wait there. Barry! Barry's such a fool. He'll be under the control of Umbrella forever. How come both Umbrella and you can intimidate him by taking his family as hostages? Umbrella? Well, I intimidated him, but it had nothing to do with Umbrella. I just used him for my personal purposes. Though both you and Barry seem to think I was following orders from Umbrella. So you're planning something else? If you succeeded in developing the world's most powerful biological weapon, what would you do? What if you were in charge? You must stop this now. You're a brave girl. But if I were you, I wouldn't give up such a big discovery. You guys are idiots. No one understands its real value. So, you're going to steal all the research? Yes. <laughs> Better yet, I'm going to show you the tyrant. <laughs> what? Oh! Barry! Sorry, Jill. How is your family? Uh, I was listening to what you and Wesker were talking about. I wish I realized it earlier. I thought it must have something to do with Umbrella, you know. So it's all been masterminded by him. That voice acts But it's good that you know that now. Anyway, let's get out of this house first. Jill! Yes, what? Do you have any idea what Wesker was going to show you at the back of this place? Well, he was talking about the world's most powerful biological weapon, called Tyrant or something. I think. Do you think we could see Tyrant now? Do you think Barry, we could you're see... so optimistic. It would look bad for stars if we let such a dangerous creature run loose. Maybe you're right. Let's go then. It's like I heard him mention something. It was like, yeah, he, yeah, he, he just mentioned it. Yeah. Like you know, just a few seconds ago. I forgot how bad that acting was. HD graphics. Uh oh. Can a creature like this really be the ultimate biological weapon? Not really? Probably. Wesker is a crazy man. Tyrant is not completely developed. But we can't let it live. That must be the computer for monitoring this creature. <laughs> you think? It's only near it. We just poke around here, no big deal. Yep, 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 very bound. Watch out, he has a one hit kill. Oh, 
Yeah, there he is. I couldn't move. I couldn't move at all. Yeah, he, he apparently he stun locks like a beast. <laughs> oh, crap. Oh. All right, let's try this again. Um, so we realized we got to put another mo disc in. Yep. And we found a corner. We found a corner of the room. We think we think it's in uh, top left corner. I think the B three, which is where we're at, I believe. So uh, let's go exploring, and then then we'll totally get back to uh, you know Tyrant doing some impromptu surgery on Jill. <laughs> You could say he made her a Jill shish kebab. Uh, huh. uh, uh, oh. Does Barry always die like that? Uh. Spoiler alert. Anybody wants to turn out alive, that didn't kill him. Oh, okay. Nothing. Man, those zombies have terrifying whales. Facts. To General Manager of Sanitation Division from Special Committee on Disasters Raccoon Special Research Department. This memorandum is strictly confidential and must be destroyed as soon as it is understood. Uh, I take it they didn't do it. Regarding the T virus outbreak, which occurred recently, this committee conducted a field survey. According to the survey results, estimates on the amount of damage caused by the accident are considerably greater than reported earlier. First, although it is very difficult to obtain accurate data in terms of actual numbers, it's thought that more than half of the researchers died after exposure to the T virus. The body count will most likely increase since nearly all of the survivors, survivors show symptoms uh, peculiar, peculiar to the T-Virus. Second, our security system is still in operation. However, our special security guard squad has been nearly destroyed. Because of that, research information considered by our company to be top secret has been made available to outsiders. Countermeasures should be taken as soon as possible. Finally, many of the subjects from the experiment have escaped and are out of control. We believe that some researchers were killed by these subjects and their bodies mutilated. By a curious coincidence, these events are proof of the success of our research. However, there are very there, there is also a very high risk that this news may be leaked to the press if we don't act immediately. The condition is very serious. Our operation to cover up difficult to obtain. However, we hope the problem will be solved quickly. We are especially concerned that the state police and stars are intervening too quickly. We need to act uh, on this situation as well. Ooh, the new stars was coming. Yep, I can't believe I wasted all those shots on those guys. Ugh. Oh, there's the emotis reader. Yes. I swear by myself declare, uh, declares the Lord that because you have done this and have not withheld your son your only son 2216 alright well, I guess we can break in this door now. Oh, you just enter it. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, look at this. Is that you, Jill? Oh, crap. oh, Chris, you're alive! Of course. Damn it, we're in quite a predicament, Jill. 
I know, Chris. You anyway, think? I have to open this room. It doesn't work. Well, Chris, I'll be sure to come back and help you soon. Will you wait here? Thanks. I'll be waiting here for you. <laughs> she gets on the helicopter as the place is blowing up. It's like, I keep feeling I forgot something. <laughs> Whoops. Crap, Chris. So we gotta come back here when things are going down. Yeah. So take a note, it's the top left corner of the... Uh, ooh, there's a door there. Yeah, that's the one we got in. got the... The Norris Oh, okay. That is right. Those naked ones freak me out. Uh, yes, they are freaky. You're here, days. too. Yes, you're here, too? Look, uh, <laughs> I lost my I'm way. Gonna save Let's get all going. The of watching this again. Yep, and we'll be back through some editing magic. Damn you! And we're back. Crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. I can't control what it does. Uh, duh. You know, I'll hit you a third time. I'll hook you. Uh, uh, dude. Heal. Oh. oh, that wasn't stressful to my whatsoever. No. Yep, still alive, barely. Uh, check on Barry. Barry? Barry? You're alive. Just oh no, he just got he just got beat. He just got pimp slapped. I'm really time. embarrassed. <laughs> I was clumsy. Let's get going. All right, we gotta find a way how to activate the self-destruct sequence. Hey. Wesker. There it is. The triggering system has now been activated. All Wesker must have set it off. There's not much okay, time left for us. Yep. And we gotta go get healing items. I love these stuff fuck secrets things. Let's hold up on heal items. We're in the end game, baby. Let's do this thing. Oh, 
That should be enough. I'll pop for that first aid spray. Oh, we do have one. Oh, thank God. Uh, wow, we didn't even do it. We need acid rounds. Actually, uh, pull up the acid rounds, combine it with the grenade launcher, but it's actually better against Tyrant. Remember, we can't combine them. Oh, you can. But what I can do is... Fire sticks. And then... Yeah, and then load acid rounds. Because the acid rounds does more damage against Tyrant, if I'm not mistaken. Do this. Let's go save Chris Redfield. Oh no! <laughs> I don't like those things at all. No. keeping you waiting so everything is done well almost yes now let's go what she holds that bazooka it's so weird <laughs> you're gonna give him a weapon Let's go! <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> oh yeah, it is right. The board that we saw at the entrance. The board. Hurry! I swear, if Chris says, "Let's go one more time." Oh, he's got a pistol. Well, gotta risk it. 
Cover immediately. How are you gonna take cover? What good's that gonna do whenever I stop telling kids like during a tornado drill, just get out in the hallway and stick your head between your legs? When you take the flare, that's an oddly shaped flare, right? All right, here we go. Not five iron? Uh here it goes. good you know we, we didn't have we didn't have this uh us getting own counter as much in uh, Solid hill no this is pretty rough Hey. It's coming! Jill! Kill that monster! You're our Amazon, Jill! 
Amazon deal. Oh, okay. Oh, you got him. Damn! Yeah! Oh, wow, that hurt Never my Never been eyes. so excited. Oh. We did it! His mouth's moving. His mouth was moving. I was the only one that noticed that button. Sorry, I was taking a big drink of bourbon. <laughs> <laughs> Victory bourbon. Mmm, these great. Graphics. That was freaking rough. That was terrible. Yeah, it was the worst explosion graphics I've seen. Gun's a lot smaller than it looks in the game. What about Rebecca? Yeah, Rebecca's dead, homie. <laughs> Uh, wait, there we go. There's the voice actor. Yeah, we just know. Game is so much harder than fights nowadays. Mm -hmm. Damn. It's almost seven hours to beat that game. Uh, whoops. <laughs> Maybe someday we won't be scrubs. <laughs> well, do you think the game held up? Oh, yeah. Oh, obviously. I mean, Resident Evil, like Silent Hill. Is, is is one of the staples. I agree. I think the game held up really well. It was still really scary at, at parts. Um, I mean, I know I, I screamed in a bunch of these episodes. It was uh, it was very fun to play it, and it's been a long, very long time since I played the original OG one, and I just love the bad voice acting. It is so bad. It is so, so, so bad. It's part of its charm, man. It is. It really is part of the charm. Um. I'm really glad we got to play it, though. Um, it's been a long time since me and you beat it. We'll have to play the remake soon, because the remake is just glorious. Yes, it's the prime definition of what every remake should be. And we can now get into the closet to change our outfit. Hmm. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, that concludes our playthrough of Resident Evil. If you like the series, be sure to leave a like on the videos, and uh, also be sure to check out our channel and see us start from the beginning. And uh, it was quite a journey. It was very fun, as always. And uh, if you want to see more of our content, be sure to subscribe to our channel and uh, enable that bell. I'm your co-host, Corey the Conqueror. And I'm Mike. And we'll see, see ya. ya.